Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing well. My name is Neeraj Chaudhary and today we will develop a Gen AI powered app named Document Summarizer using AWS Party Rock. This app will help us summarize the document as well as answer any queries we have in terms of the summarization that we have generated by using this specific app. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. So without wasting much time, let's start building. So guys, today we are going to create a Gen AI based application which is known as document summarizer what exactly the idea is behind this app is you can upload any document of your choice and then you can chat by using the uh, chatbot feature as a uh, part of the app where you can ask question to the chatbot and it will reply to you based on the documentations which are available so let's go ahead and see what is the prompt that we have that we are going to use because it's very important so today we are going to create this specific document summarizer app by using a zero shot prompt. So guys, this is a zero shot prompt. Uh, you can see on the screen. I will explain you line by line. So what we are saying here is create an app that summarizes documents. It takes inputs. So consider this inputs as the number of user input fields that it is going to create uh, into our app that we are going to create. and it takes input such as document type. So that is one of the user input. And when I, when in the bracket, I am giving example, this is going to be the default values, which will display in that user input. So for example, suppose I have uh, used a user input as email. Okay. But in that field where we have to enter email, we put a placeholder where we will put a, a dummy email ID, right? ABC at the rate uh, uh, dash 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 dot com so that the person who is going to fill the information understands that what exactly he should fill. So in that way, I am providing this examples. So these examples are nothing but it is going to be the placeholders that are going to be reflected in the user inputs which are going to get created. Now, as an user input, first we are going to take doc type where it will say, what is your doc type? Is it research paper, article, blog post, report, that kind of. Then length, uh, in number of words or paragraph. So when we are asking him to summarize that specific document for us, what is going to be the length? What is going to be the number of words or paragraphs uh, in which he wants us to provide the output? Then uh, key information to focus on. So uh, it will ask us that what you are, uh, what kind of summarization you are looking for? Are you looking for the summarization of the key points, of the conclusions, of the examples, of some specific sections? So there are different different uh, areas on a specific documentation based on which uh, you can do that. I will explain you by opening the document also, so you will have a fair idea about it. Then. Moving forward, based on this inputs, the app generates a summary that is tailored to the specific document type, the tone that we select and the focus area that we are providing as part of these three uh, user inputs. And, uh, and as part of output, it will provide us a concise and clear overview or in short, it is going to summarize the document for us. Now let's jump to the screen over here. So first I will tell you <clears throat> what kind of documentation I took. So over here I have uh, performed this search saying that propped uh, engineering sample PDF download. So uh, the first link which came through, I just opened that link. That was ResearchGate. I went over there and I downloaded this document from ResearchGate. So this is uh, just for example. So over here you can see guys, there are multiple uh, sections to this specific document. One is contents when it is uh, saying what is the content of this specific uh, research paper that has been done. See, there are different different sections. One uh, one section says that introduction, second says that fundamentals, third says something else. So these are the sections that uh, we mentioned in the prompt that I showed some time back. So this is the document that we are going to attend. Now, let's go ahead and see. Based on our prompt, how Party Rock is going to create a gen powered, gen AI powered application for us. So it's time to test the prompt that we have created. So let's do it. Generate your app. Then I will just go and copy the prompt. Okay. Here is our zero shot prompt. The same prompt that I showed you over here. It's the same. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on generate. Within two, three minutes, it will generate an app for us. And then I will take you uh, one by one for each of the widgets which are going to get created as part of uh, uh, this app creation. So let me click on generate. 
okay it's generating so guys you can see that it has created a app for us named as docsum uh, we will change the name don't worry about it so see first and foremost it is asking us to upload a document this is the document now uh, it is asking us what uh, kind of document it is is it a research paper it is an article blog post or report so for us it is a research paper that i'm using number of words or paragraph in how many words or paragraph i want the uh, summarization for that specific document now the tone is it going to be a formal tone casual tone concise tone in which it should uh, give give us the output back now key informations key information is what we uh sorry uh, yeah in key information we have to mention are we looking for uh the conclusion or introduction or examples what do you being generated summary being generated summary we are going to get the output that we are looking for and for the follow-up questions on the output that we are getting we have a chatbot over here okay this is the ai powered chatbot that we, we we can use so uh first let me do one thing let me click on edit and let's change the name okay document summarizer i have saved it guys <clears throat> and let me just again let's minimize this this looks better now okay so let's start with uploading our research paper let me upload the research paper just give me a minute mm, no notes okay guys so i have uploaded the same research paper see over here prompt engineering for chat gpt the same one it is just showing that what is the content of it over here in top type now as it is a research paper we will start filling the information research paper document type is research paper the summary length of summary i would say 200 words and the tone should be formal for me and the key inform i can say key points now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and so before going to uh, before playing it let's see which model it is using so that later on if we want to tweak that model to see the uh, different outputs so right now it is using claude 3.5 sonnet so what i have seen guys right now whenever you're creating any app it will by default take claude 3.5 sonnet but if you want to change it you can change anything now the benefit uh, so the bad part of using this one is if you see the bar over here it is two bar that means it is going to consume more credits of yours so if you want to save credits and do multiple iterations so what you can do is you can go for amazon nova micro and uh, nova light i have tried this it really works well so right now uh, let's uh, try this with amazon nova micro and uh, let me save it so that i can save some credits for myself and for chatbot again what it will be by default yes as i said so again i am taking amazon Mic uh, nova micro and let me save it now let's go ahead and run our application as we have filled in all the information so let's see how it summarizes our document okay so these are okay so it has summarized it in 200 words exactly guys which is very short so let's do one thing let's say number of words okay well i will say 800 this time now let's see summary of prompt engineering now it is giving the exact output that i was looking for so it over here summary of prompt engineering this is the file name then the key points so let's see if it is giving the right output so guys these are actually the key points i will take you to the documentation so if you go over here in contents see the key points are introduction fundamentals of prompt engineering and it is the same see introduction fundamentals technical effective prompt engineering best practices so it has actually uh, taken the heading over there as well as it has provided us information about what exactly uh, things are there from that specific documentation so and if you have any queries any questions or, or request for clarification so if i say that uh I can go ahead and say I have copied this so I will say explain
in detail. Let's see. So guys, see, now this chatbot has actually first checked what is the output in your summary. And then based on that, it has picked it and it is giving the clear and specific instruction importance. It has explained me in detail about what I'm asking. So that is how you have generated your app. Now, uh, it is very important for you to understand how this chatbot is working. So I will show you the query over here. This is by default query that has been generated over here. So over here, I, uh, you can see that they have generated a query where it is saying that summarize a document uploaded. And if I hover on this, this is the file from where it is taking the input. Okay. Then coming down, it says that take these values as user input doc type, first field, summary, summary length, second field, tone, third, and key information is the fourth. Now, based on this, after taking all this information, that is the last prompt, which says that provide a concise and clear summary that adds to the specific document. So that is how by default, the prompt is created for you in this Genai powered uh, app that is getting created. So I will just close it as it is. Now we saw what prompt was there in the backend for the AI powered widget that is for text summarization. Now let's see what is for the chatbot. If I go to the chatbot, so in, this is the query that chatbot has where it says that the user has uploaded a document in this, a summary based on the following parameters and the generated summary is this. So your bot now knows that these are the places from where the data was collected and this is the output. Now, when you ask question, it sees the output from here and based on that, it replies uh, to the further queries. So that is how the doc summarizer app works. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this tutorial helps you get started for developing an AI powered app using AWS Party Rock. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit that like button and drop a comment below. If you have any questions, I will try my level best to answer all your queries. And of course, subscribe for more tips and tricks. Happy prompting and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.